Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our concert. We have a full house tonight. It's great to see. So certainly greetings to our Grandview residents, family members, friends, and Grandview staff. Also a special welcome to community members who are with us. And I want to acknowledge our fellow Rotarians who make this possible. They're at the back, and some are over here. So welcome to them. We have anticipated this concert for quite a while. For 30 years, the Ukrainian male chorus has fostered, encouraged the Ukrainian traditions of choral singing. They have toured all the major cities in Canada, as well as visited Poland, Western Ukraine, and Australia during the last couple of years. I believe they performed at Vancouver Expo and also at the International Choral Festival in Montana. On four separate occasions, they have performed with our magnificent Edmonton Symphony Orchestra. They have released four recordings with some very unusual names. One of them, that old sheepskin coat. Makes you wonder, right? <laughs> I'm sure that, that they're all lovely. And in just a couple of weeks, this group is going to go off to tour Europe. They are going to perform in the World Choral Games in Riga, Latvia. They have two performances in Poland. And then they are going to complete their tour in Vienna, singing in a church that was built in 1783. Sounds fabulous, fabulous. Tonight I also have the personal privilege of introducing, come forward, the founding and current artistic director, Oris Soltakavich. Oris and I are educational colleagues, and I have witnessed firsthand his exceptional skills, his initiatives, his dedication, and his professional accomplishments over the last 12 years, about that. So tonight, he is going to share his musical talents with us. On behalf of the Rotary Club of Edmonton West, I am truly honored to welcome Oris Soltakavich and the Ukrainian Male Chorus. Thank you, Ingrid, and thank you, everyone, for uh, uh, inviting us to the concert. We're very excited about singing for you. As Ingrid mentioned, we are, uh, in a couple of weeks, off to Riga, Latvia, and we're going to be singing a number of songs, and we're going to be sharing them with you. So I'm going to be talking about every song, because most of our songs are sung in Ukrainian, so it's, I think it's important to have a little bit of context. However, we're going to sing first a set of four sacred songs, and the first song doesn't need a lot of introduction, it's the Lord's Prayer. But the composer is the same composer who wrote the music to the Ukrainian National Anthem. So here is the Lord's Prayer.
Thank you very much. The next song that we have is interesting for us because it was written by an anonymous composer from the 17th century. Most of the music that we sing in our choir is in four parts. We have a first tenor, a second tenor, a baritone, and a bass. This particular piece of music is written in five parts. And uh, the text goes like this. All angels are rejoicing in heaven today, and all creation is celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior in Bethlehem, and Christ shall rule forever. So this music is, oh, well, over 300 years old. <coughs> sing a little bit faster and the words there go glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit today and always and through the ages and the composer of this piece is the same composer that we had for the first piece of music uh, for the Lord's Prayer and also the Ukrainian National Anthem. <laughs>
many of the uh, songs that we sing were written by Ukrainian composers, most of them actually in the 19th century, because during the 20th century, during the times of the Soviet Union, many Ukrainian composers weren't allowed to uh, compose music, certainly not sacred music. But we're very thrilled to be able to perform this next piece of music because it was written by a Canadian composer of Ukrainian ancestry. His name is Roman Hurko. He used to live in Toronto. Now he lives in New York City. I guess if you want to make it, you have to go to New York City. And what he did was he wrote an excerpt from the Vesper service. So not during the regular Sunday service, but during the evening service. And I'll just go through the words briefly with you, and then you'll understand what we're singing. Let my prayer arise like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands like an evening sacrifice. O Lord, I cry to you, hear me. Be attentive to the voice of my prayer when I call to you. Hear me, Lord. Set a guard, O Lord, around my mouth and a portal around my lips. Lead my soul out of darkness, and I will profess your name. songs. Now we're going to turn to secular pieces of music, not sacred music. The first song that we're going to sing is on page two. <laughs> and here it is. It describes, uh, like many of us experience, we think about our youth, and especially when we look at people who are celebrating their youth, this is what the song says. Blaze of lights and music calling, music weeping, rising, falling, like rare and precious diamond, youthful eyes are gleaming fair, joy and hope are shining there in laughing eyes, all bliss is sent to eyes so young and innocent. And the words to this song, like many of the songs written not only for male chorus, but also for mixed chorus, which means women and men, are written by uh, Ukraine's most renowned poet, 
Taras Shevchen book. So this is one of those pieces. It's called Ohni Horyat, The Flames Are Burning. song is in English. So this is uh, probably a very well-known piece of music. Certainly it comes from the uh, United States and it's a well-known spiritual. Certainly it would be in the United States and I'm sure many of you have heard it before. It's called Deep River.
Our final uh, song in this set of four songs was, uh, no, sorry, the third song that we're going to sing in this set, it depicts a pastoral scene. Insects are buzzing in the cherry orchard, the plowmen are returning from the fields, the young women are singing, mothers are preparing dinner, the family finishes dinner, and the evening star rises. Mother wants to teach the children, but the nightingale singing won't let her. Mother puts the children to bed and ends up falling asleep beside them and all, files, uh, and all falls silent. Then you'll hear the choir pick up the tempo quite a bit and that's when we sing only the girls and the nightingales are not yet quiet. The words to this song, like the first song that we sang in the set, are also to the words of our poet, uh, Ukrainian poet, Taras Shevchenko. Chernobyl, and that happened in Ukraine in 1986. So this young boy at 14 years old wrote a poem about how the cranes, which are very popular and very common not only in Ukraine but throughout much of Europe, the cranes are flying towards Chernobyl since they haven't yet found out about the terrible event. They return to their young, the cranes do to their young uh, little cranes, and tell them they won't be able to return to their native land since it's now unrecognizable in the aftermath of the explosion. Now the music to this was set to a Vancouver-based composer, and he's also the conductor of the Vancouver Men's Chorus, and his name is Willie Svozdetsky. So this song is about the cranes flying towards Chernobyl. <coughs> 